Now we have already plotted the bore site gain of both of these horn antennas and we found that the direction of the maximum for these horn antenna coincides with the geometrical center of these horn antennas. This is again very important when we are trying to conduct all of these experiments for the geometric center of the horn antennas should also be the maximum direction of the gain or the reception because if there is a squint in our antennas then that squint is going to reflect in all the experiments and will result in errors in all the experiments. Now we have made the transmitter and the receiver in line and we separated them by a distance of say about a meter and we can see that the received signal strength right now is about 57.9 dB microvolts which is also the direction of the maximum right now. Now we put an empty prism on the goniometer right now and we make sure that the horn antenna is placed at approximately the center of these prism or any of the objects we are trying to measure. This is important because if the heights of these antennas or the object is not proper then this could result in some errors. We can remove that thing by putting a rotary table or small patches of foam provided. Now as we can see the received signal strength is 58.5 so there is very little absorption in the signal by using this particular low loss microwave material. Now we'll replace this prism or rather fill this empty prism with polyethylene pellets. Now these pellets they increase the refractive index of the empty air inside the prism by making it more refractive. The dielectric loss tangent of this material is low. Again these are important characteristics when choosing such material because otherwise if the behavior of this material is lossy then this will again result in readings which are in error right now. Now we see the reading has fallen down and we can try and rotate the received signals, the receiving antenna and we can find out the direction of the signal refraction. The signal has traversed from the transmitting horn, it has passed through the prism antenna and in the most likelihood it has rotated in that direction. So we can find out the direction and we can take a plot of the received signal strength and the angle right now. So for this particular angle the reading is 57 as we rotate it is 57.4, 58, 58.2, 58.4, 58.7, 58.8, 59, 9.2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 59.8 this appears to have maxed out so as you can see this prism has bended this microwave beam towards its larger face so we have been able to prove that the microwave prism results in refraction of microwave signal now we come to our experiment for microwave polarization for that we we'll use a microwave polarization grill and we will again keep the transmitter and receiver horn in the vertical polarization. The distance is about a meter. The signal strength right now is 58.4 dB microvolts. Now as I put a polarizing grill along the path of the microwave beam. I see that the signal ha level has fallen down to 45.2 dBs. So about 13 dB of signal has been attenuated. Now what has happened is that because this was a vertically polarized signal 
the direction of the electrical vector in the EM wave was in the vertical plane and that vertical plane wave when it has met with this polarization grill it has set off current in these wires because of which the vertical component has resulted in absorption of its signal along the length of these wires now if i rotate this grill in the opposite plane this will result in as I put the polarization grill perpendicular to the direction of polarization I see from the signal strength the signal strength is 59.7 or there has not been any attenuation at all while we are putting this particular grill which again shows that since our horns are already linearly polarized a lot of their energy is already into one plane only and there is very little energy in the other plane because of higher cross polarization discrimination of these antennas so we have a pure polarization wave and a very little obstruction has been caused by using a polarization grill like this so we have been able to prove the phenomena of polarization of electromagnetic waves.